My name is Jacqueline and this is the Cadden Fire Demonstration. Disclaimer, this person is a trained scientist who has all the required personal protective equipment necessary. Please do not attempt this at home. For this demonstration, you will need some ethanol, potassium permanganate, hydrogen peroxide, a lighter, and a wash glass. So for this experiment, we're going to need 10 milliliters of water, and I'm just going to pour that into this crystallizing dish right here. We're also going to need 10 milliliters of ethanol, which I am going to measure out. And then I'm going to pour it into the dish as well. We're also going to need 5 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. And I'm going to add that to the dish as well. Now I'm going to add some potassium permanganate. The mixture of water and ethanol produces a blue flame. When the potassium permanganate, the small purple crystals, are added, it reacts with the hydrogen peroxide to produce oxygen. This oxygen is produced in small bubbles near the surface of the burning flame. The oxygen supplies the fire, which results in the fire initially getting larger. You may also hear popping noises, the cannon fire. This is because the flame is hitting one of those oxygen pockets, which makes the loud sound. If you look closely, you may even see the potassium burning, which causes the flame to turn purple. Have you ever struggled to get a campfire going? You may have seen these devices called bellows, which are used to supply oxygen from the air to the base of a fire. This is because oxygen is part of the fire triangle, which is a list of three things that are needed to produce a fire. It includes oxygen, heat, and fuel. In this reaction, the oxygen came from the reaction itself, the heat was supplied from the lighter, and the fuel was ethanol. This reaction is interesting because it creates the oxygen it needs to keep the fire burning. Thank you for watching Cannon Fire. Be sure to check out the rest of the demonstrations at Science Fun Week.